Tiger Woods was never that talented, relatively speaking, of course. And I say this as the biggest Tiger fan in the world. Tiger is my golfing hero. He did not have the success that he had because he was more talented than all the other PGA Tour players. They're all very talented guys, and talent-wise, he wasn't at the top of the list. He succeeded where other tour players failed for one very simple reason. This schedule that he followed during his time on tour is the reason he succeeded. Tiger Woods was one of one when it comes to work ethic. What's the difference between work ethic and talent? Talent is the reason that some people don't have to work as hard than others to achieve the same result. Take a guy like Dustin Johnson, for example. Notorious for showing up to practice late, missing tee times, neglecting areas of his game like his wedges, and was able to maintain a run as world number one because he was talented. Don't hear what I'm not saying, though. Tiger Woods is incredibly talented as a golfer. One of the most gifted athletes of all time, and in my opinion, the greatest golfer of all time, and it's not particularly close. But for as good as Tiger was, he was never able to do that, was he? He couldn't take the DJ route. Can you imagine where Tiger would be if he showed up late to practice rounds? If he didn't grind the way he did every single day? Would he still be the same Tiger Woods that we know and love? Look at where Tiger is now, that he doesn't have the reps. He's rusty because he can't play as much, because he can't practice as much. And yes, I know he's been through so much. And I think it's completely insane that he can even compete. But don't you also think that the reason his body started breaking down in 2009 might be because of all the reps, because of all the practice? As much as I hate the phrase built different, Tiger Woods was simply built different. For any normal person, Tiger Woods' routine that was a recipe for success for him would be a recipe for complete and utter burnout. My point is this. Tiger Woods is the greatest golfer of all time, and maybe the greatest athlete of all time. But there's only one Tiger Woods, and you don't have to be Tiger Woods to succeed. You just have to be you. I know myself. I know my body. I know my game. If I tried what Tiger did, I would fall apart, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Tiger Woods is one of one, but so am I, and so are you. We're all one of one. We just need to learn and optimize what works best for that one.